time for Community Matters, a service of TCB Broadcasting. And it's sponsored by Vidalia Federal in Lyons and Vidalia, Todd Paget Housing Center in Claxton. Now let's see what's happening in our community with host Tony Doc Wardlaw. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to this edition of Community Matters. I'm your host, the Doc. And uh, it's good to have you with us this morning on, yes, still another beautiful Wednesday morning. I know it's a little chilly outside. I'll tell you why in just a minute. Uh, but I can still see the sun peering over the, uh, the clouds and, and through. I think it's going to be a beautiful day today as usual on Wednesday. I'm happy to have you with us here on this edition of Community Matters. We have a special show. And I told you I'd tell you why it's really cool outside. It's because I have the one and only cool and debonair man himself, Mr. Jonathan Gordy, in the house. <laughs> I wish that were true. He's so cool <laughs> that even in the middle of 80-degree weather, he just freezes everything around him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking okay, to it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You know, we had to have a reason, uh, Brother Gordy, as to why the temperature changed the way it did. And... Uh, I just felt like this morning that was a good right. reason. I got you. you. Know? I got you. <laughs> well, Mr. Uh, Jonathan Gordy is here. He's got um, two uh, special persons with him. He's got the beautiful uh, Miss Alyssa Head and his son, uh, the one and only debonair himself, Mr. Noah <laughs> Gordy. And um, I'm, I'm excited to have them with us because this year, uh, Jonathan is the Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby chairman. Yes. And we're going to be talking about the Soapbox Derby right. this, uh, that's, that's here in our community. I told you we have a great community, didn't I? And, um, and so we're just excited to have you all with us. Yeah, great to so, be here. Thank um, you. You know, Jonathan, kind of tell us about the Soapbox Derby. Those who may not be familiar with it at right. all, right? Um, just kind of give us some history on it and um, sure. and tell us what your mission is for this year. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Soapbox Derby started uh, back in, I believe, back in the 30s in Akron, Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was really popular back then. Um, They've raced for years and years, and I think in 92 or 93, here locally, uh, we started our own Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby. Okay. Um, and so, and it is associated with the International Soapbox Derby in Akron, Ohio, so we are mm -hmm. we are sanctioned race wow. for the International Soapbox Derby. So, uh, back in 93, uh, I think that's when we started. Um, mm -hmm. It might have been. Was it 92? 92. 92. So okay. this will be him our... Help him out. Yeah, help me out. Help Keep me out. him on the straight So this will be our 31st <laughs> year as the Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby. Wow. Um, so every year that we have a champion... So we started out with only one class, which was the stock class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so... And that uh, I believe that that winner that year was a young man by the name of uh, Audie Paul Powell, who I went to high school with. <laughs> um and uh, he, I remember watching him on TV, um, mm -hmm. actually racing in Akron. So, yeah. if you win our soapbox derby, um, you you are our representative for the Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby for the World Championships in Akron, Ohio. Oh wow! And that takes place in the third week of uh, of July every year. Mm -hmm. So we we have three classifications here. Okay. Um, we have stock, mm -hmm. super stock, and masters. Okay. So between those three um, classifications, we have kids from the ages of seven all the way to twenty mm -hmm. that race mm -hmm. in those classifications. Right. So um, we love soapbox racing. My family and I got into soapbox racing in what twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. 20, we've been racing since 2018. Right. Um, we do rally races um, uh, all around. Uh, we've been to Tallahassee, Florida, Sanford, Florida, Ocala, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, we've raced in Akron. Um, so there are some other tracks that we would like to go visit. Uh, we haven't <laughs> been able been able to do that yet. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's a one of the most um, inclusive mm -hmm. and fair means of competition that I've ever been a part of. Okay. So okay. it doesn't matter what color you are. It does mm -hmm. not matter what you do or, you know. So it, it it's very, very family-oriented. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And um, I know for, for me and my oldest son, Alex, okay. um, 
he's always he was always the athletic kid. So I was always the coach in baseball and stuff like that. Right. So you know, um, or wrestling or whatever. But mm-hmm. um, and that's how he and I bonded. Right. And so uh, with Noah, he's he's not that guy. He tried baseball and didn't like it. So. Mm-hmm. You know, but we got into soapbox racing, and when we started traveling and and rally racing together, we really bonded, oh, and wow. it really brought us closer together as father and son. That, that's so um, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, so when I say it's family oriented, mm-hmm. I mean mm-hmm. even with Alyssa right here, I look at her as my she's one of my youngins. Mm-hmm. You know, she's one of my kids. <laughs> so um, we uh, we we are very close knit group mm-hmm. um, and so uh, we just I just I just know what it's done for me and my family yeah. and uh, so it's been a great awesome experience well you know Noah uh, how long have you been uh, how long have you been racing uh, like dad said ever since uh, 2018 so you've been racing for the full five years so y- yes sir. you know uh, as soon as you really learn how to walk and talk you were in a car yes sir <laughs> And Alyssa, what about you? Um, I've been racing since November of 2016, and it's just been a really good experience. I have friends from California, Kentucky, um, New York, Michigan. It's just oh been man, a really you, good you're experience. you're nationwide now, Alyssa. <laughs> okay, um, and so uh, I want to know a little bit more about the cars, right? Um, the car does it uh, have a Tell, uh, for pro- people who may not know about the soapbox derby mm-hmm. and, and the racing, because when you think racing, you think in NASCAR or um, you know the Indy 500. Right. Uh, but these cars, uh, do they have a gas pedal? Do they have a brake? Um, how does it work? So um, basically, all three classifications are gravity racers. Okay. So um, if you've ever been to Parton Park and you come in on that, I call it the Thriftway side, mm-hmm. you know, that West Gordon Avenue entrance there to, I think they call it Myot or Miot Road. That's right. And you pull that big hill and you see at the top of the hill there's our ramp. And uh-huh. so we load the kids in those ramps and then we load two cars at a time and they race down the hill to the finish line. Our track's probably, I don't know, I think it's like 890 feet long. Mm-hmm. So, but it is gravity racing. Um, it does have a steering wheel, and it does have a brake pedal, but it does not have a gas pedal. Okay. So, um, that, you know, with uh, the three classifications, um, they're different weight classes. Stuff. Some cars are fast. You know, of course, mm-hmm. the Masters cars are faster than the stock cars and the mm-hmm. super stocks. So, um, but, uh, yeah, it is, it is gravity racing. So, mm-hmm. it's a pretty cool experience. Alyssa, you um, have been racing, looks like, the longest here yes, uh, since 2016. Um, how many races have you been a part of? Um, it's definitely been, I, I, I know I've at least reached my 100 races oh, wow. mark and everything. I've been to races from Florida, Kentucky, West Virginia, and then the Akron, Ohio race. I do want to go to like maybe like a Michigan or even travel out to California mm-hmm. and do one of their races there, but in the near future. Oh man, this sport is taking you seriously yes, nationwide. Sir. And so, do you have your own car, or uh, do you have more than one car that you race? So I have right now. I usually race the Masters division, but I have raced every other division. And um, as I've already won the Masters local, I do race now uh, the Super Stock. So, but I have aged out of my stock division car, but I did race it at one point. I raced that car for three years, the Super Stock for one year, and now I've been racing Masters for about three years. And oh, wow. Oh, wow. And Noah, what about you, sir? You, um, how many races do you think you've been a part of? Uh, I... Honestly, I have no idea. I don't really keep count, <laughs> but uh, I I can tell it's definitely been a bunch, like a lot. Uh huh. But I mean, I don't I don't really keep track. Have you won any? I've won a bunch. I'm then again, I like I said, I don't really keep track of how many I won either. Now, what cities have you um, visited and raced? Uh, well, I've been to Akron, Ocala, and Sanford. But we wanted to go c- to Kentucky one time, mm-hmm. but I think something got in the way of, mm-hmm. like, 
tight schedule or something. I don't mm-hmm. remember what it was, though. Okay, now what division do you race in? I race in Superstock. Okay, so you're at Superstock. All right. Now, um, we're looking for, and, and uh, it, the, the races will begin, uh, our local races will be April, what, 28th and 29th? Yes, sir. So Super Kids Race, um, that is for um, uh, special needs kids. Okay. Um, and that is from that we hear uh, as from the ages of 7 to 18. Mm-hmm. And so um, we have a special car for them. Mm-hmm. It's a two-seater car, so somebody actually drives them down the hill. But that way they're able to compete. So when you were saying that this uh, sport is for everybody, it's for everybody. you really meant yes. everybody. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Good, Absolutely. Good. So sorry that I didn't mention that before. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we do have our Super Kids race on the 28th at 9 o'clock that morning. Mm-hmm. Um I know they have Special Olympics next um, next Friday at okay. Toombs County High School at the track over mm-hmm. the track and field area over yep. there. That's right. And so we're going to have a couple of our Super Kids cars out there and some applications if folks want to come and and check it out and talk to us and they can fill out applications there. That's excellent. Um, and so uh, that's a that is a very very special race for us. Mm-hmm. We actually have a world champion from a few years ago. Wow. Yes. I, you know I remember that. Yep. Yep, and um, so um, we have multiple world champions from all all four divisions that we send to Akron. Um, mm-hmm. We have uh, we have Aiden Driggers. Um, she's a two time world champion. Um, mm-hmm. Her brother Cash is a two time world champion, <laughs> and then we have Miss Cassie Martin, who is a who's a uh, world champion as well. And wow. so. Um, you know, when, when Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby goes to Akron, mm-hmm. people know they're going to have to pick up their A game a little bit <laughs> to uh, because they know it's going to be a sti- it's, it's going to be stiff be competition. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and we, you know, us as parents, we really, and our kids too, we just we we pour into it, and um, so we just really want to promote what we do here. Um, like I said, it's inclusive. It's 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 fair, um, mm-hmm. and uh, it is. Uh, it is character building, mm-hmm. and and it build, and we like to build relationships as well. That's good. That's good. So, uh, Alyssa and Noah, I want to come back to the two of you as we are looking for because right now the applications are open for drivers to be a part of these races. Yes, right? Sir. Yes. Um, what would the two of you? Um, and I guess we'll let ladies go first. <laughs> What would you tell a young a young lady or even a young man, some a, a kid who's uh, looking to be a part of these races? What could you tell them uh, as a good reason for them to come on out and uh, join in uh, these games? Well, this is a family fun event, and you just def- you definitely gain a fa- family out of the event mm-hmm. and friends as well. And it doesn't matter if you win or lose. You just know that you've gained something already when you go out to that track, that you've like conquered a fear of maybe just trying it out, mm-hmm. and you gained a family. So I would definitely say just try it no matter what, even if you think it might be like it's maybe a different for you. That's good. That's good. Miss Noah? Well, Alyssa pretty much took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> But she's right. Um, you pretty much gain a family in the process, like family far away from home. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting here. I've got uh, an Indian in the house with uh, Miss Alyssa Head. And then I've got a bull pup in here. But they're, they're, they're working together this morning. But they talk smack on the tracks, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> so, they're, they're, you know, it's all family. As you can see, even though they're um, you know competing with each other, they're still here and they work together. So it's truly a family. But uh, when you get on the tracks, all bets are off, isn't that right, Noah? Yes, sir. <laughs> so you got to go for what you know, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, listen. Um, these festivities will begin. Uh, this is the week right after the Onion Festival. Yes, sir. Um, and then the Soapbox Derby it's races on, begin. Yeah, it's on. A, so Super Kids is 28th. Uh, our local Soapbox Derby is uh, on the 29th. Mm-hmm. We also have, if you'd like to check it out, see what we're about, 
uh, April 1st and 2nd, mm -hmm. we have our rally race going on. Um, rally races generally consist of two days, four mm -hmm. races in two days. We have mm -hmm. an AM race and a PM race. Mm -hmm. Generally, our AM race is a double elimination race, and our PM race is a single elimination race. Okay. So... Um, a lot of chances for kids to go down the hill. Um, if you're that'll interested, be at part and part. That'll be at part and part. Yes, sir. We start at nine o'clock on Saturday, and then again on Sunday we'll start at nine o'clock again. What what dates are those again? That's April first and second. And is that just open to the public? Anyone can come out. Anybody can come out. There's no there's no fee to come watch us or anything like that. Um, mm -hmm. We we um, we invite anybody out to come check us out and see what it's about. And um, so, in, in generally, we have a couple of cars there that we call barn cars. Yeah. That um, <clears throat> if a kid is interested in doing it and want to do it, um, we can get them actually a run down the hill. Look, man. Yep. Yep. Wow. If we have a pause or something between rounds or anything like that, and we have a and we have a child that wants to try it just to drive it down the hill. Oh man. Um, we send them down the hill, and and uh, we had a young lady last time. Um, her granddaddy was uh, actually had the food truck, Smith mm -hmm. Dog food truck uh -huh. and oh, yeah. uh, Smitty yeah. was out there and yeah. uh, his granddaughter wanted to, wanted to try it so she tried it um, on our AM race on Sunday and, and, uh, and then she said Papa I want to I want to race and so we <laughs> we set it up and uh, she uh, we put her in the afternoon race and she raced wow it's so pretty cool look at that man yeah okay okay do you have a car that would fit me Actually, we do. We have adult cars, so um, we we have on on the Friday night. So on the twenty eighth that night at seven o'clock, we're gonna have an adult rung what you brung race. Look, man. So we're gonna have some adult cars out there. We're gonna have people that's listen. It, We've somebody had one a toy tractor one time. Somebody they raced a, that down the hill. They raced really? it down the hill. I've seen a bathtub <laughs> race down the hill. Down the hill. Yes. I've Run seen what you brung. Run what you brung. I don't. My, my imagination is running wild. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen. I have seen a recliner. Yeah. Set up oh, wow. with a with a Dale Earnhardt movie with a TV going on, and he raced that, it down that, the hill a few years ago. That would be yours ago. truly over here. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, we have seen seen it from lawnmowers wow. to to uh, is some contraptions now. I'm telling you, yeah. but hey, it's it's all in fun. Yeah, and it's for adults just to come out. Uh, there is a fee for adults to do that. It's thirty dollars. Okay, um, and I will say this as well um, for our local. No child pays to race at, at our local because oh, we have sponsors that sponsor every car that pay that entry fee. That's excellent. And so um, rally racing is a little different. Um, mm -hmm. We do uh, we do fund that ourselves as parents. Um, mm -hmm. It's twenty five dollars a race. So there's four races. So if you race four races in a weekend, it's a hundred bucks. Hundred dollars. It's a hundred bucks. Weekend. That's right. So, um, but uh, yeah. So for our local, but no, there's not a child that pays a fee at all. Mm -hmm. And so um, we, like I said, we we work hard at getting our sponsors. Mm -hmm. um, our big sponsor is Paul Paul Thigpen Chevrolet. We want to say thank you to them okay. and the City of Lyons, because City of Lyons is the other big sponsor. Because yeah, without them, this derby wouldn't be going on right now. Uh, the city the city really jumped in a few years ago and said, mm -hmm. "Hey, this this is part of our identity. Wow! And we need to we need to really make sure that this thrives." Yeah. And so. Um, a day a guy named Michael Williamson. Uh, mm -hmm. He used to be one of our former directors, mm -hmm. and it really took off with him. And then Matt Driggers came in behind him as director, and then Katie took over last year. Alyssa's mom. Okay. Um, she did it for one year. She just she's really busy in her schedule, and um, and then they passed asked the baton me. Right yeah, they passed you. the baton on to me, and I was like, well, Lord. You, I guess you've been preparing me for this, so yeah, we'll 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 jump right in and, and go on. So we want to keep building it every year, and we want to get good. kids involved. Excellent, excellent. Well, we want to um, – don't go anywhere because sure. you talked about the Soapbox Derby being a staple here in our community. Yes, sir. There's some big things happening at our a state capitol. Absolutely. And, um, when we come back from the break, we want to talk about that. And uh, we want everybody to get interested in this and come on out and be a part of it. Um, don't go anywhere. We're going to come right back and, and find out the big things that are happening uh, right after these messages. 
smarter, not harder. Here at Vidalia Federal, we are all about that phrase as we strive to make your life easier. No more drowning in paperwork or being interrogated over the idea of buying a house. Getting a home loan should be an enjoyable, simple process, not a daunting task. This is Julia McKenzie with Vidalia Federal Savings Bank, and I am here to make the mortgage process easy and simple. Come see me at the Vidalia branch on Jackson Street to talk about your next home purchase or refinance. I look forward to serving you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas. This is Anthony J. with Todd Padgett Housing Center. And no, I'm not Santa, but we sure are slaying the competition over here in Claxton, Georgia. We build our manufactured homes more energy efficient, better built, and have the best setup than anyone else. Whether you've been naughty or nice, come by and we'll be glad to show you the Todd Padgett Housing Center difference. Jingle us at 912-732-1466 or stop your sleigh at 5260 Highway 280 West in Claxton, Georgia. Todd Padgett Housing Center. All of your housing solutions under one roof. Dorothy Davis with Southeastern Business Solutions here, specializing in website services, graphics management, and video editing. We have partnered with TCB Broadcasting to bring your sponsorship ads to life with their live on-air programs, which are recorded and archived along with your sponsorship ads as they were aired at the time of production. These programs are viewable by anyone at any time from anywhere on major social outlets like YouTube or Facebook to include tcbbroadcasting.com's website. That's a lot more viewing potential, more than you would get than, than with a still banner that's only viewable by website visitors. With this kind of viewing potential, you want to make sure your ad says a lot more than a simple animated logo can say. These services are only available on tcbbroadcasting.com and the spots are limited. So reach out to your TCB Broadcasting account executive and get yours locked in as soon as possible. You can bring your own video with you or you can email Dorothy at southeasternbusinesssolutions.com and you and I, we can put our creative minds together to come up with the perfect ad that says the perfect message and get you the perfect attention. Welcome back, welcome back to this edition of Community Matters. I'm your host, Tony Wardlaw, the Doc. And I'm here with uh, three of our finest in Toombs County, and we've been talking about the Soapbox Derby. I've got Mr. Jonathan Gordy in the studio with us, and he is the Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby Chairman. Mm -hmm. But I've also got two of our illustrious drivers. I've got Miss Alyssa Head and young Mr. Noah Gordy. And they've been racing all over the nation and representing us and doing a great job at it. The Soapbox Derby is a staple in this community. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. Um, as Noah reminded me, uh, that, that um, it, 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 is, it has a big name, so much so, until even uh, on the water tower. Tell us about it, Noah. Well, on the water tower, there's an old, there's like a painting of an old soapbox derby car, and it mm -hmm. says, Lions, Georgia, home of the Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby. Yeah, so, yeah. so I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. Yeah, when you drive into town, you can look up at the water tower, and there it is, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it's been here, we've been racing 31 years here. Mm -hmm. So um, it is a, uh, it is like you said, a, a staple of this community, wow. and uh, we, want it, we want it to be here for, 31 more years that's you right know? that's right so uh, well well that may very well be the case because uh as we are speaking uh as as late as or as early as um uh a couple weeks ago yes sir the georgia house of representatives just passed a bill yes sir. uh basically um you know uh, the bill claims this area as the so south the, what is it? The soapbox. Yeah. So they want to. The right. So Miss Lisa Hagen, our representative mm -hmm. for for our district, mm -hmm. um, she uh, she got. I, I I can't remember how she she um, came to hear. Well, she knew she knew about soapbox derby. Well, uh, you know, it's, it's Miss Lisa Hagen. It's she, right. She's, that's <laughs> right. So she's listen. She's a she is a wonderful representative Absolutely. for for Tombs County. I promise mm -hmm. you that. Mm -hmm. uh, she loves the people of Tombs County. And um, she really goes to battle for our for our county Absolutely. and her district in in Atlanta. Excellent. Um, so she she brought up a bill mm -hmm. to make the Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby the official soapbox derby of the state of Georgia. 
Wow. And so that was wow. a that was a huge honor. Mm-hmm. And so um, she is she she t- as she was speaking about the bill from what they call the well in the house. Okay. Um, she said, "I know y'all are tired of hearing about soapbox derby, <laughs> but it is really special to us That's good. in Toombs yeah. County." Wow. And so um, there was a I, I did not know this, but there's another representative from the Gainesville area mm-hmm. that, uh, or excuse me, he was from Marietta mm-hmm. that he actually ran. Uh, he was a director for a soapbox derby up there for about 10 years. Yeah. And his daughter is a world champion. Wow. I, I cannot remember his name, mm-hmm. but, uh, um, but he, he was part of, he was co-sponsor of this bill mm-hmm. to make the Southeast Georgia Soapbox Derby the official Soapbox Derby of Georgia. That's excellent. That's so excellent. It so got now, passed it unanimously. Got passed. Unanimously. Unanimously. Through, everybody passed it through. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now it has moved on to the Senate. Yep. And so they it's got to go through a committee there. Miss mm-hmm. Hagan's going to try you know, is going to work hard to get it through that committee and, and get it to the Senate floor to help. And then uh, Senator Tillery is going to push it's it hard really and push. see if we can't get it passed through. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So we'll all be praying for that. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm certain that it, it will come into fruition. And, yes, sir. And that, that uh, it will be good for our area. And, again, that will kind of help it, like you said, last and, and be sustainable for another 31 years. Yes, sir, absolutely. You know? And then, um, Noah, you'll be sitting over there where your dad is, and, <laughs> and you'll be the director. <laughs> All right. Well, but you got to go after Alyssa because your dad is following Alyssa's mom, right. Katie. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. And I'm older. That's right. And, I ain't got nothing so, to do with it. So Katie reminds. I mean, uh, Alyssa reminds uh, uh, Noah. Yeah, and I'm the, and I'm older than you are. Right. All right. Got nothing to do with this Indian bulldog thing, does it? Mm, maybe. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I thought so. Well, um, you know. All right, we got the stock class, super stock, and the masters. Um, any age groups for how did how did the ages work? Okay, so the ages work. Uh, stock class, uh, well, so super kids is mm-hmm. from seven years old to to eighteen years old. Okay. okay? Um, so su- our stock class is from seven years old to thirteen years old. Got it. Um, and then super stock is nine to eighteen years old. Okay. And then masters, you can be ten, all the way to twenty years old. Okay. So, um, and it, and when we go rally race out of town, um, you, you see all different age groups racing those. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I've seen I've seen eleven year olds driving masters cars competing against a twenty year old, oh, and, wow. and beat the twenty year old. So yeah, you know that's. Uh, that's a that's a that's an accomplishment, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, the uh, I'm trying to think what uh, there is another class, but it's legacy. There's but we two. don't, yeah. There's um there's a Ram bottom, and then there's a legacy. They do not really hold the um, rally races for those or locals, but in Akron, Ohio, you can sign up during the World Championship, and they hold a day to race. Those races. Yeah, I, I'm starting to see who the brains of this outfit is. This one. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> you keep these guys in, in check, don't yeah. you? Absolutely. Uh, thank you for that. Um, so, uh, how does how does one sign up? They, they can contact the Lions Main Street office for an okay. application, mm-hmm. um, or they can give me a shout at uh, on my cell phone, um, and that is nine one two two nine three. Five seven six three. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably a lot easier just to call the Lions Main Street office. Yeah. Um, I do. I own a business here in town, mm-hmm. and uh, it's always wide open. But I will. I will take anybody's phone call, or if you want to shoot me a text and say, "Hey, this is my name. This is my kid's name. Mm-hmm. Uh, will you put us down? I'll get you an application." Um, the so the the Saturday of the um, of the. Onion Festival, we have a driver's meeting that morning, a new driver's meeting. Um, mm-hmm. And so kids that have never been down the hill before, we give them the opportunity to drive a car down the hill, mm-hmm. be sure they like it first before they before they actually commit to driving. Right. Um, and so they would actually, you can actually fill out the application there mm-hmm. on that day. 
Um, and so that's all we would need because, like I said, they don't have to pay anything because the, the sponsor is already the, the fee to enter the race has already been paid by the sponsor of the car. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. and every car is sponsored that we that we enter in. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but yeah, they can contact the Lions Main Street office. Um, yeah, they call uh, Lions Main Street nine one two five two six six four four five. Yes, sir. And speak with Miss Daphne Walker. That's and right. That, and that crew, and they will be able to help you get signed right up. That's right. Um, you can also visit them and, and fill out the application. Go to their website, and uh, I think it's also on the Lions City website. Or That's right. A, yes, sir. And of course, you'll be able to find it on our website, tcbbroadcasting.com. Right. The, the Soapbox Derby has its own website. Um, mm -hmm. That's southeastgeorgiasoapboxderby.org, I believe. Um, you can probably Google it and, and find it. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm the new director. I don't know all of it yet, yeah, but we're, you, I'm you, learning you're warming it. up. That's you're right. Up. So. That's all right. Good, good. Well, I mean, we got to um, bring it to an end and uh, get Alyssa and, and Noah back in class. Uh, I did give you all a little bit of reprieve and a little bit of break, but you all got to get back to the books. Books and then the cars, right? Is that the way it works? <laughs> <laughs> Some days we can take a break. That's right. Well, we, we're putting this on the map. Yes, sir. Because uh, uh, recently there was a, 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 a television show, Blue Street, uh, what is it, Blue Lightning? The Blue Lightning movie, yeah. And uh, your brother, Two of your yeah, brothers yeah, were really yeah, involved with yeah, that. Yeah, I happen to know, know those guys. Yeah. And uh, you were in it. And uh, I, w I had a I was like an extra in the background. <laughs> Noah Noah was actually the, the I was uh, the stunt double for the person playing me. Look right. at that man! Right. I mean, I, I'm, I've got famous people. <laughs> I'm talking about television actors. I mean, and you did you build the car that was in the movie? No, um, that was a that was a car that uh, Matt Driggers when when we filmed the the, mm -hmm. the movie a couple of years ago. Um, I think was that during COVID? I think it was, it was during COVID. So, yeah, it was, it was 2020 right after. Right after that. Yeah. COVID. So, um, I think Luther had made contact with Matt, mm -hmm. our former director. Okay. And they got to talking about the movie, the the plot for it, and everything. Mm -hmm. And Matt was like, "Hey, we got I we got the perfect car for that. We got the we have a car that's blue. And all I got to do is put a lightning bolt down the wow. side and put blue lightning on it. And so we dressed it up and uh, put it in and put it in the movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Alyssa drove in that movie mm -hmm. as a stunt double. So um, there, man. Another young lady um, from Atlanta that races a lot with us. She came down, and she did a. She raced as a stunt double. Noah Noah did the same thing. So, in the opening of the movie, you actually see the soapbox car, and 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 when it says it actually has Gordy Enterprises on the side Look, of the man. car, and has Noah Gordy on it, and that's him actually driving the car. Wow! So he didn't get to. Pleasure to meet you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. He didn't get to be the actor because he's not an actor. But uh, but he did. Uh, but he, but we did do the uh, stunt the stunt driving for it. Hey, you never know. I mean, you never know what what can happen of it. That's right. And so uh, good stuff, man. They Great. used. I don't know if they, I didn't know if the director was what they were going to say the kid's name was in the movie, but they ended mm -hmm. up making the. The antagonist of the movie, Noah Gordy. So. Oh, man. <laughs> well, you got to start somewhere, Noah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Yes, this sir. has been great. This has been excellent. Yeah, so, thank you for having us. We greatly yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And um, thank you for you know, accepting the challenge to be the director this yes, year. Yes, sir. And uh, you got a great team. Oh, absolutely. Uh, keep up the good spirit. I, I've run in – my paths uh, have crossed with uh, – with uh, Miss Alyssa a few times, she's the manager for the volleyball team, and I happen to be the um, the official uh, for some of the games, and and uh, she makes sure that she has them in check and all the good stuff. And, right. And then when I make a call against Vidalia, she'll give me that eye every now and then. <laughs> 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 but this is good stuff. Yes, Everyone, sir. go out. I mean, uh, we're gonna be there. Um, my man Dave Allen, we cover it every year, and um, he's always there, and it's just a good event. Yes, and um, and you won't, as as Alyssa and Noah have said, you will not, um, you will not be disappointed. No, sir. And um, shouts out to all of our super kids.
Yes, sir. And um, and that's a great event. Oh, yes, sir. And, uh, Absolutely. So just, let's just all join in and be a part of it. Go out to the website. Join in. It's been a blessing having you all with us. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you all for yes, coming. Sir. Thank, Thank you. you, Dave. Uh, always. Thank you, uh, Miss Dorothy Davis. Uh, you can go on our website, and you'll be able to see. And actually, you can watch this and hear this interview again. Um, you'll be able to see exactly what uh, Brother Jonathan looks like and Miss <laughs> Alyssa and, and uh, young Mr. Noah. And uh, so please go to our website, tcbbroadcasting.com, tcbbroadcasting.com. Come back again on next week. We'll have another wonderful show for you. I thank you for traveling with me. I'm your host, Tony Wardlaw, The Doc. God bless you and have a good day. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to Community Matters with host Tony Doc Wardlaw, sponsored by Todd Padgett Housing Center in Claxton and by Vidalia Federal in Lyons and Vidalia. Tune in again next week to see what is happening in our community on Community Matters, a service of TCB Broadcasting.